Welcome back to Jack Chaucer Storyteller, Mickey White Polar Extremes. Today we've got chapter 28. It's called Mars Isn't Enough? Question mark. Mars isn't enough. This is Thomas's perspective. It's the uh, same date as the last two chapters, February 21st, 2020. <clears throat> there was a knock at the, on the door to my room. I just wanted to sleep after a shitty day. Is that too much to ask? Thomas! Sounded like Willem, so I got off my bed and opened the door. A word in private, he said, nodding for me to back up so he could close the door. I figured he was going to bitch me out for starting the fight with the rat. Your face looks okay. How's your pride, he asked, eye to eye with me. What the fuck do you care? I'll tell you why I care if you're willing to listen. You're going to do whatever the hell you want anyway, so... That's right, we are. My question is, what do you want? How about a gun, I said, bracing for a punch. He didn't seem surprised by my answer and didn't really react right away. I thought you were going I thought you weren't going back to being that person. Isn't that what you told me at McMurdo when I offered you the chance to blow me and Nikki away right there? Yeah, well, that was before you ambushed me with Adam fucking Upton for a whole fucking winter. Hoo hoo, a little adversity, the old man said. Talk is cheap and guns are for cowards who can't settle things with their own hands or their own brains. I was so fucking sick of the yammering. Can you just make your point so I can go to sleep before you spring another fucking drill on us? Okay, here's the plan. I'll make you famous for all the right reasons, not for blowing away a bunch of people. There's nothing special about that anyway, anymore anyway. Happens every day. Just ask my wife, who no longer has a twin brother. Ouch. Listening yet, he asked. I nodded. If you do what I tell you, you'll get your fame, your riches, your adventures, your I fucking love the cold, your freedom, and your bragging rights over Adam. Hell, you might even get the girl, he said. What girl? Who else? Who says I want her? Talk is cheap. Looks say much more. Just spit it all. Spit it out already, I said. So he told me. All of it. I don't have to tell you to keep this just between us, because I'll definitely hear about it, Willem said. Mars isn't enough for you guys? No, we at the bridge like to tell, a world, tell the world a story and make the impossible possible as we pursue our grand missions. If you're going to do something, why not go all the way? Why me, I asked. It doesn't have to be, but if it's not you, then we're all just wasting our time down here, because it's always been you since we discovered her. We chose you for this, so seize the opportunity, be a leader down here, and make your destiny happen. My head was spinning. It was a lot to think about, but I couldn't say no. I'm in, I finally said. Good, Willem said. Your life matters now. Get some sleep. Short but interesting. That's the end of part two and end of chapter 28. We'll be back with part three next.